today's video, I'm doing my first ever collaboration with a wonderful group of ladies, and we're doing a Valentine's Sweets collaboration. So I chose to make a keto cheesecake fluff. This recipe is very similar to that um, cream cheese dip you might already know for dipping your fruit in. Uh, I am using some plant-based ingredients as well as a low calorie sweetener. And I am choosing to go, to go with a keto recipe because I am type one diabetic. So I knew I didn't want anything overly sweet and something that would fit into my current diet. Uh, I'm also going to be using some strawberries for this recipe, but you can certainly customize this any way you want. Cookies and cream, peanut butter and chocolate, the options are endless. So let's get inspired and let's get started. Toppings you can use are some festive sprinkles. I think these ones will look really pretty. Um, some conversation hearts, some fresh strawberries. I picked up these freeze-dried strawberries from the Dollar Tree. That's a great way to um, get them for a little bit cheaper. These can get a little pricey. And then I have some graham cracker crumbs. And then it's just five ingredients for the fluff, most of which you probably already have on hand. Uh, a lemon, cream cheese, salt, any type of cream. I am using plant cream. And then I am using zero calorie sweetener, uh, confectioner sugar. First things first, I'm going to make the whipped cream first. I just took my bowl out of the freezer. Something you always want to do when you're making whipped cream is make sure that your bowl is nice and cold. It will really help keep the whipped cream at the perfect consistency. Next, we need three quarters of a cup. I'm using plant-based whipped cream. You can use regular as well. actually going to be using my whip. All right, we got nice stiff, stiff peats with our whipped cream. All right, now we're gonna add a quarter cup of powdered sugar, a whole block of cream cheese. I did go with the Nufatel, softened, a teaspoon of lemon juice, And a pinch of salt. Throw our beater attachment on and let it mix. And then one third of a of the whipped cream mixture at a time. Just fold it in. Uh, I am speeding this portion of the video up, but you do not want to rush this process. You want to slowly incorporate the whipped cream and cream cheese mixture together so that you don't ruin the consistency.
Y'all, you can customize this any way you want. I love going with the strawberry theme. You could even throw some pound cake in there, but it's just a light dessert. Just the right amount of sweetness, and it's really easy to put together. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Go Chiefs!